As mentioned earlier at 530, Columbus City Council is talking about the future of the Christopher Columbus statue. This is a live look at the meeting underway right now. That statue has sat in storage for the last two years. It was pulled from the front of City Hall in the summer of 2020 after the death of George Floyd. Now the city is discussing if it should hire a company to figure out where it will go. It would cost $253,000. Our newsroom is now monitoring that meeting. Of course, we'll keep you posted on the final outcome. A Columbus family who worked to install that statue says it also represents Italian heritage. Since he's Brian Somerville is showing us what's happened since that statue was pulled back in 2020 and why it could impact what happens next. It's been two years since the city of Columbus took down the statue of Christopher Columbus here at City Hall, saying it did not reflect the diverse values of the city. But now the city might be bringing it back. On the plaza, just outside of Columbus City Hall, at the corner of West Broad and Marconi, there's a piece that Landa Mazdea Brunetto. It's heart-wrenching. It hurts me because of what it meant to the Italians. Has not felt in two years. In the summer of 2020, the city of Columbus, citing a lack of representation of diverse values, had the statue of Christopher Columbus removed that had been a gift from the people of Genoa, Italy in 1955. All that's left, crumbs of where it once stood. They don't care about the Italians. It's Christopher, it's Christopher, it's what he did as a 15th century explorer. It's not, what about the Italians? Brunetto says she understands the arguments against the statue. For her though, it represents a point of pride. What Italians, she says, went through being berated and crucified, calling the statue a present to Italian communities. How can this be? History is history, learn from it. That's why the statue should stay. Also, her father, her grandfather, created the exact bolts that would hold Columbus in place. The last two years, she's been on the Christopher Columbus Statue Committee, where voices from Italians and Native Americans have been heard, helping to push the conversation forward. But what can be done? And so little by little, that's exactly what's happening. That's exactly what we're doing. And now, after two years, the statue could be coming back. The fact that these steps are taken, the, the fact that I know we will change someone's mind out there, no one's just going to stay. And that's the point. As long as we start changing minds, opening thought processes, letting people go, maybe I should read a little more of the history. Maybe I should understand the Italian's point of view. If approved, an exact location has not been determined, but the statue is not expected to return to City Hall. In Columbus, Bryant Somerville, 10 TV News. Again, that city council meeting is happening right now. It could be weeks before the city holds a public hearing in the fall. 10TV will let you know when that's scheduled.